Etch is a simple freehand sketch editor that allows users to create and edit sketches using only hand gestures to supply commands. The user can create drawings, select and move portions of drawings, select and copy portions of drawings, and delete portions of drawings. Because of the use of freehand drawing to supply the sketches, to select the object of commands, and to supply commands, a simple circular gesture can be used to draw a circle, select a circle to be copied, and specify the copy command. Through the careful choice of syntax and gesture, ambiguities for both the user and the computer can be avoided, as seen here. The command syntax is a simple infix notation consisting of an optional scope, the command, and an optional target. Let us begin by looking at the draw command. Drawing is initiated by simply pressing down any button on the puck and drawing. Releasing the button terminates the drawing action. Once again, press and draw, release when finished. This is an obvious and natural gesture. The move command is more complex. First, the object or objects to be moved must be identified. This is done by tapping the select button on the puck and then drawing around the objects to be moved. When the button is released, the circle is automatically closed. Next, a command must be given. In the case of move, it is implicit. The user simply moves away and the scoped object follows. It is anchored in the desired location by tapping again. Let's look at that again. Tap, draw around, release to close, move away, tap to anchor. Copy is similar to move. One begins by specifying a scope for the command. Tap, draw around, release to close. The command is specified by making a C-like gesture and moving away. A copy of the scoped objects then follows. As in the move command, the copied objects are anchored by tapping. We can then quickly finish our drawing of a simple flip-flop. Since we are not very happy with this drawing, we will delete it with the move command. Tap, draw around, release, move away, and drop it off the screen. Fortunately, we can throw away hundreds of bad ideas and still not have a mess of paper to worry about. How can we use gesture-oriented editors like this? Well, in text editing, we can delete words. Move paragraphs around. Move titles around. All of the normal editing commands, all with simple and obvious gestures. In CAD applications, again, we have all of the basic editing and layout commands. We can quickly create, copy, and move. Applications specific features like grids and constraints would be needed, but the basic functions are there. We suggest that the basic ideas we have demonstrated here, the basic techniques of editing and designing with gestures, can effectively be applied in many CAD, text editing, and general interactive applications.